So I, my name is Jeff Singerman. Uh, right now I currently live in uh, Togo, in Lome, Togo. And I serve uh, alongside uh, Kevin and Susie on the outbound team. And I'm the globalization associate for the Baptist mission work in Sub-Saharan Africa. So we've, it's amazing what we've seen in these last couple of days, how all of these uh, presentations have come together and overlapped with one another. And uh, we've, we've heard about how in the 1900s, the early 1900s, it was the European mission or the European churches that sent the majority of the world's missionaries. Then in the late 1900s, it was the center was in North America. But in this decade now, in these last 15 or 20 years, it is the majority world of churches that are sending over 70% of the missionaries around the world. So the missionaries are coming from everywhere and they're going to everywhere. But we want you to know, even as the, the IMB in, in the USA, we want to come alongside you as our partners. We want to fulfill what it says in Philippians 1:27, where it says, we want to walk side by side with you. And so recently there's been a program, a, an emphasis, uh, about developing uh, our, our local Baptist mission partners. That's not only happening in Africa, but it's happening across the world. Dr. Sheehan mentioned a few moments ago that there's at least uh, two conventions, the Taiwanese Baptists and the Malaysian Baptists were uh, not strong enough on their own, so they came together to form a mission sending agency. We have three of their missionaries serving with us in Lome, Togo right now. There are five others of them serving in Niamey, Niger. There are guys in this room that are part of this program that I'm getting ready to tell you about. Five different Baptist organizations in the Philippines put aside their differences and came together to, to form the one sending body. And they are now sending missionaries across the ends of the earth. So here, real quickly, is the, the program that we're talking about. Here it is. So this is our, our, our definition of globalization, and it says this. We want to work with our national partners to help them embrace their role in the Great Commission. That's what we've been talking about these couple of days. Uh, to seek to encourage and expand their capacity to send and receive cross-cultural missionaries. Now we want to do that, and I'll explain the program here in just a little bit, but we do that by developing and sending global mission partners, GMPs. Uh, and right there it is. So this is what the global missionary partner is. It's a national partner, follower of Jesus, called by God to be a cross-cultural missionary. And that's the emphasis that we want to, put, we want to uh, emphasize right here. We, we know there's a need for home missionaries. There's, there's missionaries that need to go from Jerusalem to Judea. But we're really trying to emphasize cross-cultural, and we'll look at that in just a second. Affirmed and sent by a local church and sending entity, nurtured and affirmed by IMB field personnel, working in cooperation with an IMB field team. And the reason that we're doing that is we want to help emerging churches and emerging agencies to be successful as they send their first missionaries. So they can collaborate and understand about cross-cultural witnessing. How do you learn a language? How do you teach and preach in a, in a place that maybe is not, doesn't look like Obomasha, Nigeria? Okay, so we wanna work and collaborate together side by side in this sending process. And so part of what we are developing is a network that will help you as Baptists here in Africa connect with Baptist networks across the globe. And uh, let me, let's flip to the next, okay. Yeah, go ahead and, and this just illustrates very briefly what we're talking about. An IMB missionary, IMB missionary somewhere in the world has a need for a partner to come. So here are the national partners here in, uh, in Botswana. Uh, we have national partners, they actually have an IMB missionary and they work together and they're discipling and then someone decides to come up and say, I am, I'm sensing a missionary call. So the partners, as well as with the IMB missionary on the other side, come together with an agreement to send this guy from Botswana to somewhere in China, as an example. And so that's roughly, briefly, what we're talking about. 
So I am the guy that can help you do that. Now, uh, we have a secure network that's just being rolled out now that we're going to be uh, making available to all of you that want to do that. And so in this network, you can upload the CVs of candidates uh, of potential people. I'd, I'd like for you not to take a picture of this. This is a secure website, and this is actual uh, people. These are, well, I flipped it. These are opportunities. So you can look right now. There are opportunities in Turkey, Jordan, China, Oman, Mali, Germany, and India. We have 200, uh, we have 146 opportunities right now around the world, and we're looking for somebody to go. You see this top one? Whoops. Yeah, go back. You see the top one in Turkey? It's exactly what Dr. Hamilton talked about. I have a colleague there that lives in an area of eastern Turkey, 1.5 million people. He is there with his family, and he leads the one evangelical church among 1.5 million people with an average attendance of 15. He wants a student to come to pursue a master's degree or a Ph.D., He'll have a student visa, he'll come, he'll learn Turkish, he'll be a part of the, uh, the missionary team there, and then they can work together to win 1.5 million people to Christ. That's one example. Next slide. These are actual names of people that are in the pipeline. They're looking for a place to go. And you can see where they're from. They speak Mandarin, Spanish, Arabic, Russian, Turkish. Do you have a need for some people in your areas? That's what we're talking about. Now, how do we put all those things together? One of the things that we require as a result uh, of this is uh, going through a training. Just last week, I was with the uh, Cape Town Baptist Seminary. We had around 60 or 65 people that walked through this. And it's a requirement because you'll understand why. We want to talk about the mission field and the biblical foundation for missions and how do you do cross-cultural training. And then we come back and we underline the importance of the local church leaders. Dr. Lawless has spoken about that. The, the pastor is a, is a gatekeeper. And if the pastor doesn't have a heart for the, for the nations, then we're not going to get very far. And so we talk about that. We talk about mobilizing the local church in local ministry, but also going to the ends of the earth. We talk about healthy church, and then we walk through uh, Bible studies and things about how do you raise up potential missionaries, how do you plan for cross-cultural missions, how do you select and train and fund cross-cultural missionaries, and then how do you develop a partner, partnerships. So in the last presentation, and also with um, what uh, Dr. Audi also said today, he was talking about how do we gather together. The IMB is ready to partner together with you to see African churches sending African missionaries to the ends of the earth. If you have more questions, come and see me, come and see Dr. Rogers, and we'll be glad to walk with you through this process. So, Lord bless you. Thank you.